My name is John O'Connor. I'm the Director of African Operations for IOHK. I've been working on the Cardano project since before it launched. I previously had roles at the Foundation as Head of Strategy and uh, running communications there as well. I've shifted over to the Africa side, IOHK, because I think this is the really exciting stuff and this is the stuff that I'm really passionate about. Uh, my mother is Ethiopian and my father is Irish, so I've had this um, you know, it's a mixed race background which has given, given me an interest in Africa and in development here. So yeah, so what have I been doing? Um, so I came to Ethiopia two months ago uh, with a mandate to discover whether or not this would be a good location for us to train and hire Haskell developers. This is a course that we run in Athens and Barbados very successfully. We've hired 70% of the people who've come out of that course. An idea was that this was a model which we could try here in Ethiopia. Over the course of exploring this option, um, I realized that there was much more potential than just hiring and training Haskell developers. I realized that there was real potential here to deploy Cardano's technology in a variety of industries. So um, I began to engage in conversations with the government and with ministries over, over exploring where and which areas Cardano might be useful in. The conference which I organized yesterday was really a summary of that work and the culmination of that work. In the MOU which we signed, we've agreed to, uh, to train and hire Haskell developers out of the model in Barbados and Athens, but also we've agreed to work proactively with the government um, to explore implementing blockchain in a number of areas. Uh, so coffee is a big one. Um, we've also discussed a biodiversity project and I'm also in discussions over a number of other areas um, with both this ministry and um, some other actors within the government. So really what, really what we achieved yesterday was buy-in um, and validation of the work that IOHK and Cardano has done up till now. Uh, I can't tell you how excited we all were at, at the signing um, because it's been a, a few years of hard work to get here and uh, at the point when you've got governments buying in and signing off on the work that you've done, I think you're in a, you're in a pretty special place. What I'd say is it's not just Ethiopia. The role is obviously Pan-African and I've been having a number of high-level conversations with uh, ministries across Africa, um, starting the conversations and explaining our technology, talking about what we can do for these countries. I think that the feedback has, has been uniformly positive. We're flying to Rwanda on Sunday to explore some other opportunities over land registries and um, building a, a blockchain Cardano enterprise-based land registry system for, for Rwanda. And um, yeah, we're excited about that project. But uh, the key thing I, I, I probably emphasize is how fantastic uh, the community and um, individuals have been in enabling all this to happen. I've had so many key individuals get in contact with me, uh, help me help me start these relationships with key decision makers, um, help inform us about what the real problems are for each specific country, because uh, without that, we can't get anywhere. We are subject matter experts on building blockchains and on engineering and technology, uh, but we, we, can't, we can't work alone. Um, when we operate in a country, we need to have local partners who have expert knowledge. We need to engage with the community. Um, and yeah, I think that the last two days have been, been validation of all of that. So yeah, I'm incredibly excited.